Hello and welcome. This video series features a full season in a hobby vineyard from winter through the harvest. We'll show you some of the work involved and the methods we use to grow and ripen wine grapes. Along the way, we hope to capture some of the fun and the satisfaction that we get from this hobby. So let's get started. This is a season in the vineyard. It's planting day, and for these new vines, it's been a long time coming. These posts were originally part of the perimeter fence. When we built the fence, we knew that eventually we'd have a row of vines here. So we lined the posts up 10 feet from the existing row to form an alley. And we set the posts 24 feet apart to allow for six foot vine spacing. A few years ago, we moved the fence, but we never did anything to the posts until now. This year, we incorporated the posts into a new trellis system. We constructed bracing on the end, attached trellis wire, dug some holes for the vines, and ordered new vines. Those vines have arrived, and now it's finally time to plant. These are Rieslings, grafted onto a 3309 rootstock. They arrived from the nursery bare-rooted. This is the graft union, and about 10 inches below it, the roots fan out. These roots are more than 12 inches long, so dig a hole wide enough and deep enough to allow the roots to be spread out evenly. We assembled the tools needed to plant along with lots of water. Keep the vine roots wet so they don't dry out. Since the holes were dug a few weeks ago, we made sure the dirt in the bottom of the holes was loose. The tape measure and the level, just used as a straight edge, help to position the vine. The vine is placed in the hole so that the graft union is about two inches above ground level, and then the roots are spread out. If the roots are too long to fit the hole, they can be trimmed, but we prefer to just dig a bigger hole. Once the roots are covered with enough dirt to hold the vine in place, we add a little water, and then more dirt and more water. When the hole is mostly filled, we add a training stake. So here's a quick review. The measuring tape helps us get the proper vine spacing, and the level helps us get the graft union two inches above ground level. The vine roots need to be kept moist, so we dip them in water right before placing them. The roots help stabilize the vine, and they transport water and nutrients. The dirt covering the roots is packed down firmly. The vine is watered thoroughly throughout the process, and a training stake is placed at the end. We continued planting using this method. Place the vine, fill with dirt. Water the vine, place the stake. Then repeat. Some nurseries suggest covering the graft union with dirt until growth starts. We chose not to do that. We also chose not to use vine shelter or grow tubes at this point.
Here's a before and after of the new vine row. In future videos, we'll follow the progress of these vines. We'll also follow the progress of the vines that were converted to a new pruning system. And we'll have a few videos on the seasonal maintenance tasks that are needed to get us to a successful harvest. Look for those in the summer. So thanks for watching, and if you like this video, why not subscribe?